Um, good day everyone. Um, today it's not mathematics and we'll be looking at uh, quantitative reasoning and I have the work for you here. And before you attempt uh, question 1 to 5, um, you can see up there the example um, towards my left now looking at the screen i have the numbers um, 2 16 27 and 40 okay 40 okay um towards my right i have 1 43 70 76 and i have 115 okay now how do we arrive at this um there is something that uh, the numbers on the left has to do with numbers on the right let's begin um you notice um the first number on the left is two so you say two times three that will give you six then you take away five from six then you have one which is the first number on the right so you go again to the second number which is 16 you say 16 times 3 and that will give you 48 48 minus 5 that will give you 43 okay and that's the number the second number on the right then the third number on the left now which is 27 you say 27 times 3 um, that should give you some say 81 yeah that should give you 81 so 81 minus 5 will give you 76 so 76 is the third number on the right so the last one which is 40 40 times 3 that will give you 120 120 minus 5 will give you 115 and that is the last number on the right so that's the relationship and that is the breakdown here in case you get stuck you can look on this screen and work it out one after the other to get your answers then you send them in one after the other as your answers that is for answers for number one for number two for number three for number four then for number five using those numbers given on the left to work out your answers to the one on the right take for instance number one the first number you have there is ten so if you say 10 times 3, that will give you 30. So 30 minus 5 will give you 25. It means that the first answer on the right here will be 25. Okay. So you go on and on and on like that. Right. So see you some other time. Bye for now. Okay.